Hello and welcome. I'm Ed Kabeski, the Chief of the Threat Integration Branch within the Counterintelligence Directorate. My team supports the Enterprise Mission Management Cell with FCL threat assessments and Tier 1 annual meeting support, which led my team to working with the Methods of Contact and Methods of Operation matrices, formerly known as the 12 by 13. This video is designed to be an introduction to the methods of contact and methods of operation matrix, and also a guide to help you understand and convey this specialized look at the targeting of technologies resident at cleared contractor facilities. At its core, the methods of contact and methods of operation matrix is a depiction of where industry has seen suspicious contacts. It is important to note that the matrix is a depiction of threat indicators but it is not a finished threat assessment and does not depict the entire threat picture. It is designed to be a conversation starter between DSS personnel and facility security representatives. CI will help assist IO personnel in understanding the matrices and CI headquarters will support the tier one foci annual meetings with company, not facility matrices. It's also important to know that the field industrial security representatives will be responsible for preparing facility level matrices. These are the basic methods of contact and methods of operation employed by our foreign adversaries to achieve a collection objective. A method of contact is the avenue of approach or method of collection an adversary makes toward an asset, and the method of operation in simple terms denotes the aim or objective of the foreign adversary. Our adversaries achieved this objective through 13 methods of operation and 12 methods of contact for a total of 156 possible techniques used to collect sensitive information. For example, exploitation of cyber operations is a method of operation used by an adversary and phishing operations is a method of contact used by an adversary, which we can translate as weaponized emails either containing or leading to malicious code. This would include whaling and clone phishing. In another example, exploitation of cyber operations is a method of operation used by an adversary, and telephone calls is a method of contact used by an adversary, which would involve voice phishing. Voice phishing is a type of telephone call aimed at gathering credentials, sensitive health, or financial information, or otherwise personally identifiable information in order to complete a cyber objective. In a third example, exploitation of experts is a method of operation used by an adversary, an email request is a method of contact used by an adversary, which involves an email to a company employee requesting them to review some work or give a consultation. Examples include a scientist or an engineer receiving a seemingly innocent email requesting a peer review. It could also include an administrative assistant or a human resources employee being asked for personnel information on a project or a budget analyst being asked to share examples of their budgeting process concerning a sensitive program. At a glance, here's how to read the method of contact and method of operations matrix. There will be a more in-depth description later in the presentation. Highlighted by the blue box are the methods of contact. Highlighted by the red box are the methods of operation. Highlighted by the purple box are the intersections of methods of operation and contact representing the volume of suspicious contact reporting in that time frame. For example, between 1 January 2018 and 31 December 2018, there were 260 suspicious contact reports, or SCRs, where an actor employed an email request, the method of contact, to attempt the exploitation of experts, the method of operation. Highlighted by the orange box is the data version number and the time frame the data represents. In this example, the version is 19.1, encompassing SCRs reported between 1 January 2018 and 31 December 2018. The data version number is derived from the fiscal year 19 and quarter 1 of the most recent pool of reporting on the matrix. In this case, data version 19.1 means we are using first quarter FY19 reporting and reporting from the three quarters before it second, third, and fourth quarter FY18 to round out a full year. On the basal methods of contact and methods of operation matrix across the top horizontal axis are the methods of contact our foreign adversaries use to target cleared industry. In other words, these methods of contact are visible to cleared industry 
and it's along these avenues of approach that countermeasures should be employed. Along the side vertical axis are the methods of operation our foreign adversaries use to target cleared industry. These are less visible to cleared industry and are more applicable to our counterintelligence team in determining what our adversaries are trying to accomplish. In the bottom left, you'll see a version number and a date. It is the intent of the headquarters counterintelligence team to publish updates quarterly. Next, let me explain in greater detail the numbers occupying the intersections between the methods of contact and methods of operation. The numbers represent the SCRs received from cleared industry concerning that method of contact and method of operation during the time frame, as indicated by the data version listed at the bottom. In fiscal year 18, DSS received roughly 8,700 SCRs derived from approximately 49,000 reports from cleared industry. These SCRs fuel the methods of contact and methods of operation matrix and receive a regional look to assess metadata needed for the matrix, such as the method of contact, method of operation, and industrial-based technology list, or IBTL, which I will explain momentarily. Earlier, we gave examples of a scientist or an engineer receiving a seemingly innocent email requesting a peer review, or an administrative assistant or human resources employee asked for personnel information on a project via email, or a budget analyst being asked by email to share examples of their budgeting process concerning a sensitive program. The methods of contact in these examples is email request, and the method of operation is the exploitation of experts. Looking at the matrix, we see that in the past year of reporting, there have been 260 suspicious contact reports concerning the exploitation of experts by email. Another example is the method of contact phishing operations by the method of operation exploitation of cyber operations. We have seen 487 SCRs of this activity in the past year. A blank space means DSS did not receive reporting at that intersection. A blank space indicating no reporting does not equal no targeting. The DSS counterintelligence team cannot stress this point enough. Just because something is unreported does not mean no one is targeting it. It only means we have not seen recent reporting associated with it. And it may be an area you will need to question cleared contractor security personnel and employees about. The Industrial Based Technology List, or IBTL, is a broad framework of 25 categories to delineate, in very broad terms, the technology or services worked on or provided by cleared industry. When ascertainable, IBTL categories targeted in an SCR from cleared industry are annotated, and we are able to build a better picture of what technologies or services are being targeted and reported upon. The next few slides are examples of matrices prepared by IBTL categories. This example is IBTL category B, electronics. The category covers a host of sub areas covered in the product service codes, such as integrated circuits, flexible circuit boards, and field programmable gate arrays, among other things. In this example of electronics, we have seen a little over 600 SCRs concerning the targeting of electronics. To explain further, the targeting spans 11 of the 12 methods of contact, with the bulk of targeting against electronics occurring through email requests, web form submissions, foreign visits, and conferences, conventions, and trade shows. Here's another example of an IBTL category matrix. This one is IBTL category A, materials raw and processed, which includes ores, alloys, and rare earth minerals. Again, this is saying we have received approximately 70 SCRs concerning the targeting of materials raw and processed, spanning seven of the 12 methods of contact, with email requests and academic resumes representing the most used vectors in targeting this technology. Here is an example of what a tailored approach at a company looks like for the Tier 1 annual FOCI meetings and other company-level engagements. This method of contact and method of operation matrix represents the juxtaposition of SCRs from all cleared industry categorized by IBTL with SCRs from that specific facility or company. The colored columns serve to delineate the different methods of contact. Under each method of contact are two subcolumns for the industry view, left, and company reporting, right. For this tailored matrix example, 
we looked at the SCRs from 38 facilities of a company to make this assessment, encompassing 246 SCRs against all IBTL categories. As an example, the method of operation, RFI solicitation, and the method of contact, conference conventions and trade shows, show 88 SCRs from cleared industry, with 16 of them deriving from SCRs by that company. Note that this is not intended to be a report card, but rather it is a way to show the view that DSS receives from all of cleared industry side by side with the company's view. There is no set number or percentage to dictate how much reporting a company should be sending to DSS. However, this can be used to foster the conversation with the company on where countermeasures should be arrayed based on cleared industry reporting and the company's own security program. Similar to the previous matrix, this is the same type of look, but scoped at a narrower scale. This example encompasses SCRs from four facilities of a cleared company with a total of 14 SCRs. Further, we narrow the industry view to the five IBTL categories that the company self-identified the DSS that they work on. In this example, the industry reporting columns span the IBTL categories of signature control, marine systems, energy systems, nuclear, and services and other products. Looking at the method of operation, RFI solicitation, and the method of contact email request as an example, we see that there were 46 SCRs sent to DSS from cleared industry regarding those five IBTL categories, and that the company had reported two email RFI solicitation SCRs to DSS. It is also important to note that many SCRs DSS receives from cleared industry do not have IBTL category being targeted readily apparent. One example of this is in the method of operation, exploitation of cyber operations, and the method of contact of cyber operations and phishing operations, where it is difficult to ascertain a targeted technology when the suspicious activity may be a mass email or scanning activity against the company's network and not against a specific program or technology. So in this example, under the method of operation, exploitation of cyber operations, and the method of contact of phishing operations, we see that there is one SCR from industry concerning the five specific IBTL categories this company works on. But the company has reported nine phishing SCRs in the past year. This is normal and highlights an informational gap. There are several key takeaways concerning the methods of contact and methods of operation matrix that will assist you in adopting this tool for use and in explaining it to key management personnel, facility security officers, and other cleared contractor employees. First, bear in mind that this is a quantitative representation of reporting to DSS and not a qualitative representation of threat. Second, this is a simplified picture looking at the volume of suspicious contact reporting we have seen, but customizable to meet the footprint of a particular facility. However, this is by no means a complete picture. This matrix represents only the SCRs sent to DSS. The clarity increases via increased reporting volume from an increased number of facilities, diversity. Third, this is not the end-all be-all product, but a complementary tool intended to be used with other products, such as the questioning protocol, all source analysis, DSS's annual assessment, and CDSE's IBTL job aid, to name a few. And finally, this is not a report card on a facility or company, but a multifunctional tool to help foster conversations with the facility and its personnel and give cleared industry an aggregated look at the reporting we see. You should now have a basic understanding of the methods of contact and methods of operation matrix, which ultimately provides an opportunity to drive the conversation between the DSS employee and company security representatives or other company employees concerning threats to technologies. Thank you for watching.